are you thinking of starting your transitioning from chemically damaged hair to beautiful natural curls? Well, don't worry, bestie, because I got you. My name is Satiana. Welcome. Hello. How are you? In today's video, I'm going to teach you which curly products you need, like the curly hair starter pack. And I'm also going to explain why do you need these products in your life. So without further ado, let's get started. The first product we're gonna talk about is shampoo. And in my opinion, every curly girl should use at least two types of shampoo. The first one, it's gonna be a very mild shampoo and without any type of sulfates in it. And the other shampoo should be one for clarifying, which means it should have some type of sulfate in it. And this is the one that I am using right now for clarifying. It's the Aussie Miracle Curls. And I find it is amazing. This one is with coconut and jojoba oil. And I think that it works very well. It not only clarifies, but it also moisturizes my scalp and is catered specifically for curly hair. So I like that a lot. And apart from this one from Diva Curl, um, whenever I first started my curly hair journey, I used to use the Cantu shampoo, which is this one is very moisturizing and hydrating. And I absolutely loved it because at that moment, that's what my hair needed. From all of the products that I'm gonna mention, everything it's gonna be trial and error because maybe the products that work for me might not work for you and it's okay because every type of scalp and hair is different but i do feel like you're gonna need two different shampoos one that's very mild and one that has sulfates in it and how are you gonna use them in my case i use the mild shampoos every wash day so i wash my hair every three or four days it just depends on like the oil in my scalp and once every month i clear up all the buildup in my scalp and on my hair with a clarifying shampoo sometimes i feel that i need more and sometimes i use the, I use the clarifying shampoo two times per month and this depends if i am using any other products on my hair that have some ingredients that need to be clarified and that are going to make more buildup. So if I am using a conditioner with silicones and if I'm using an oil and any other product with silicones, it's going to create buildup faster and I'm going to need this like twice per month. But that's the max that I use it because your hair needs your essential oils. So if you use this and use this and use this all over again and very often, then you're gonna strip your scalp completely of all of the natural oils that are needed in your hair. Now we're moving to conditioner. As I said before, when I started my curly hair journey, the products that I used were from Cantu. So I used the shampoo, the conditioner, the cream, and honestly, they worked so well. And I used those products for about two years. And then I started experimenting with something else. When I moved here to Canada, I, uh, I am an international student, so I needed to start saving. And all of the products here, I find that they're more expensive than in the US. So I bought like a regular conditioner, and this is from Aussie, and it's the Total Miracle 7 in 1. This one has apricot and Australian macadamia oil. I use conditioner to detangle my hair in the shower because as you might know, curly girls need to detangle their hair or our hair when it's wet. We don't detangle when our hair is dry. That's a no for us. So I use this and it works pretty well. But to be honest, as soon as I finish this, I am gonna try and find a conditioner without silicones because as I mentioned before, the more silicone products that you put to your hair, the faster the buildup it's going to start accumulating in your hair. And I don't want that. I really prefer to stay away of products that contain silicone just because of that, because I don't want all that buildup in my hair accumulating and accumulating. I would recommend the moisturizing one, the hydrating one from Cantu because it's absolutely amazing. And this one is not bad either. The next product we're going to talk about is deep treatment mask and in this case i do have the Cantu one and is the shea butter for natural hair the regular mask which smells amazing it's like very thick in consistency and 
I've been using this ever since I started transitioning. So it's great because your hair needs all the hydration, moisture that it can get whenever you're starting to recover your hair from your chemically damaged to your beautiful natural curls you're gonna need all the help that it's available this mask is pretty good and i also love another mask from shea moisture and that's a protein mask just to have a balance from moisture and also protein in my hair because that's what we need protein and moisture for our hair to be balanced and beautiful curly cream oh my god where do i start with this one you're gonna hear me in this video saying so much canto 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 because that's what i used for like two years and it worked amazing and this is the one that i absolutely love and if i find it again here at walmart i will buy it i'm living in canada right now in prince edward island and it's kind of hard to find canto products and when you find them they're very expensive but whenever i can get my hands on it i will because it helped me so much so that one is a curl activator and that's what it does it tries to activate your curls and it makes them bouncy and pretty and with perfect elasticity i remember seeing so many youtube videos and youtubers were like oh this is my favorite cream and they were talking about the shea moisture coconut curling cream this one and i was like mm, everyone's talking about that i'm gonna buy it and once i put that in my hair oh my god it made my curls flat i was coming back to straight hair again and my entire hair was like looking like oily but it was not really oily it was the product that was making my hair look like that so trial and error just try because maybe if this product works for me maybe it doesn't work for you and right now i'm using the scala expert my crespos um this is actually a brazilian product and i think you can get it on amazon and this is amazing as well and this is completely liberated and vegan which means that this product doesn't have any type of sulfates parabens silicones or any of those ingredients that we're trying to get away from whenever we're starting a curly hair journey this is the one that i use on almost every wash day now because of how well it works it doesn't weight down my hair and it gives like a beautiful shine and moisture and elasticity it's like perfect as well so just try and try and try as i said before everything is trial and error gel again here i used the Cantu one for so long and it worked so well right now i don't have it but i've also used the escala mais cachos which is the one that i'm using in this video right here where i share with you my definition process and you can actually watch that video whenever you finish watching this and i'm also going to link it in the description down below but there are so many gels that have worked for me and um right now i'm using a colombian brand that i think you can only get in colombia which is called ethnicer and i've also used the echo styling gel the one that is green and has olive oil in it that one is a game changer as well uh, i think i used that like two or three times whenever i was traveling and i didn't have my products with me so i had to use my friend's products and she had the gel and I was like what is in this because this gel has moisturizing agents hydrating agents and it also has protein in it remember for your hair to be beautiful and healthy and balanced you need protein and moisturizing agents and as soon as i finish this i am planning on purchasing that one because it worked so well as well all right and now we're moving to oil so i'm gonna put this one as I like yes and no or maybe in the curly hair starter kit because i really did not use an oil defining oil to break my cast during the first two years of my transitioning process and i'm going to tell you why because most of the oils that are on the market have silicones in it and if you are on the process that you're trying to stay away of silicones then oils might not be like the best idea so what i used to do to scrunch my cast i would just take my hands and like scrunch it like that 
would create a little bit of frizz so i used to grab like my satin pillowcase and i would just like scrunch my cast with it but now i am experiencing with more products that have more ingredients in it i am not staying away from silicones so i'm using this one this one is from aussie as well and it's the same line as the shampoo it's the aussie miracle curls and it's a curl defining oil and it has coconut and jojoba oil as well and i find this works amazing it leaves my hair shiny and it smells incredible all right and now we're gonna talk about a satin pillowcase satin or silk if you can get a silk pillowcase it's better because silk is softer but it's also more expensive and i would actually recommend this to everyone even if you don't have curly hair getting a satin pillowcase is the best thing ever a couple of the benefits of having a satin pillowcase is that it reduces the friction in your hair so whenever you're sleeping on it it's going to reduce the friction if you're moving around and also reduces the breakage of your hair it is also hypoallergenic so if you tend to have allergies or asthma like me it's better to have a satin pillowcase so if you have skin concerns these types of pillowcases are very gentle on the skin believe me when i tell you when i started changing this small habits of mine and i started sleeping on a satin pillowcase instead of a cotton one or like polyester or whatever the other materials are my skin improved completely it also can keep your skin moisturized and can help you reduce the appearance of wrinkles the next tip would be to get satin scrunchies or silk scrunchies and also bonnets satin bonnets to sleep at night this is one of my favorite scrunches this is actually satin but i also have another one and i'm gonna show you just to see if you notice the difference between them or maybe you don't because like i am the one that can fill them this one is silk this is a silk scrunchie and it's very very soft it's way softer than this one and it also tends to be like kind of like more shiny but in a good way and this one is satin but both of them work amazing then i also have this kind of like poly lycra sleeping cap and i'm gonna show you how it looks because it's very funny so i would take my hair like that and this is why i don't usually wear it all the time And I put it up and my hair needs to be completely in and now that it is there I just put it inside <laughs> and I would sleep like that so I don't really use this all the time because first it looks very funny and second it is kind of hard for it to stay in my head while i sleep i also have a satin bonnet like this one's but i find that one to be very uncomfortable <laughs> so this one it's very comfortable like i can sleep on it but i also have to be like pulling it down while i sleep because it slips so much but this one is so good because it keeps the moisture in my hair and also whenever i have definition in i know that it's gonna stay there like i use this for extreme and like special occasions so let's say i wash my hair today but i have an interview tomorrow so i would sleep with this tonight because of the interview and because i need my hair to be pretty right but if i don't then I would wear my scrunchies so leave that like that i take my hair here and it's like a kind of a pineapple hair style that you're gonna want to do so i take it up do one and two in front that's it this is literally the hairstyle that I'm in like 24 seven. <laughs> like whenever I'm at home, 
this is the hairstyle i'm in because it's more comfortable for me and this is how i sleep and i of course i use my satin pillowcase i would highly recommend this like if you are not comfortable wearing this or like a satin bonnet just wear a scrunchie while you sleep but it's important for you to have a protective hairstyle while you sleep just for you to preserve those beautiful curls and also just to prevent any type of frizz that we can get now we're going to talk about brushes when i started my curly hair routine transitioning journey whatever you're going to call it i just used one type of brush and it was like a regular type of brush it didn't have any type of special thing this is not the brush i used i actually used a brush that it's similar to this one but it was from wet brush and now i just changed it because it was too old and i bought this but yeah it's just a regular brush then we have the defining brush so this is not necessary if you're just starting your curly hair journey but um i'm gonna link again my video up here and also it's in the description down below of my curly hair definition routine that I usually use every single wash day and I use it with this type of brush this is the nine row brush or some people might know it as the Denman type of brush if you're defining with a brush like this it's not gonna have the same results like this one and then the third brush is a detangling brush and I just use it on the shower so what I do is I wet my hair, I wash my hair, use shampoo, everything. And then when I am using conditioner, I detangle my hair with the conditioner on. And I find this conditioner is so good for detangling. It's just amazing. It detangles my hair so well. So I usually keep this brush inside the shower. And these two are the ones that I use whenever I am outside and I am doing my definition and last but not least it's going to be a diffuser this is very important and you want to use this whenever you're on a rush this is kind of controversial because some people say like if you're using heat you're gonna damage your hair blah 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 and some other people say that if you're not drying your hair with a diffuser and you're letting your hair air dry it's gonna do more damage to your hair rather than if you're drying it with a diffuser if you're in a rush if you're going out just use a hair dryer with the diffuser attachment don't use it just like that because you're gonna end up like with crazy lion hair but yeah the diffuser attachment is very 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 nice and it's gonna prevent your hair to look weird whenever you're outside and it's wet all right and as you can see all of these things might seem like too much for some people and even more like whenever i talk to my friends that have straight hair they're like girl i am just using shampoo and conditioner that's it and i am like good for you <laughs> and i know how it feels because i had straight hair once like when i was straightening my hair all the time i would just use shampoo i didn't even use conditioner my hair as you can guess was like in terrible health and <laughs> i had split ends like you cannot even imagine it was terrible but now that i'm taking care of my hair i feel like all of this like having all of these products and having like a good routine for my hair it's not that much like you just have to get used to it and i know it might seem too much in the beginning but believe me it's completely worth it all right, and that's everything for Curly Hair Starter Pack. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you on my next video, which is going to be next week. Bye!